Good evening, everyone. We begin tonight with a story about a certain group of people prosecutors say you need to know about. A gang that made a name for itself in Nashville in the 2000s is back. The indictment of seven gang members earlier this month is proof of what they are calling the next gen of MS-13. Tonight, prosecutors tell our Jeremy Finley how this once silenced gang made its violent return to Music City. A student is kidnapped from Glencliff High School as part of an attempted initiation. Bodies are found in burned out cars near Ashland City. Evidence of what federal prosecutors tell News 4 investigates is the latest version of an old gang. I would say this is kind of next gen MS-13. MS-13 made a name for itself in Nashville in the 2000s, committing a series of brutal murders, marking sections of the city with their graffiti. But after high-profile prosecutions, the gang's activity quieted for years, until 2014. When federal investigators say new members of the gang started running drugs, specifically in nightclubs in South Nashville, trying to once again stake their territory, beginning an intimidation campaign, targeting rival gangs in violent shootouts in parking lots. Why would you tell people they needed to be worried about this gang? Uh, it's indiscriminate. When guns are fired in a parking lot, the bullet, you know, doesn't have a name on it. It could go any number of places. This new generation, just as brutal, prosecutors say, as their forebears. Telling News 4 investigates, charges are soon coming about those burned bodies in Cheatham County. So what caused this gang, largely controlled out of El Salvador, to return? Prosecutors say like any organization, their membership waned until a younger group could be brought in. The seven now indicted are all in their 20s and early 30s. They were looking to replenish their membership, so I think they've tried to bring more people into town. Jeremy Finley, News 4 Investigates.